That's it right there. Ring the bell. J.C. Dykes has been counted out, and your winner is the Jester. Hopefully we can get things restored here. But why? Fans, we're going to try to get some stuff restored here. We'll be right back. Okay, so the referee goes and gets bumped, and you're going to cheer about it? Yeah, some executive official you are, and you wonder why everybody wants to get you fired. You're a joke. want to miss this next television taping Saturday night, June the 15th, live at the Prince of Rec Center, the best in Southern West Virginia professional wrestling. West Virginia Championship Wrestling will be live and in your lap. Here we are with our great action here on West Virginia Championship Wrestling right here on Wednesday to noon on the Two Virginia CW Network. What comments by one Scotty Range just a few moments ago, and now we got an opening contest here. And joining me right here at the table, as much as I hate to say it, I left early last week and went straight to the board of directors. Quitter. But apparently, he's allowed to be here after apparently. he quit. Yep. Randy Hicks. Hello there, Mr. Foster. But isn't my favorite guy in the whole wide world. It's a pleasure to be here yet once again, right by your side, sitting so close to you. That was a little too close to me, if you ask me, the way you said that. But you know what? I'm going to sit here and I'm going to call this show. I'm going to call this match. I'm going to call this straight down the middle. Much like you can't ref. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very funny. Yeah. Um, I have two awards sitting at my house, sitting up on my wall that says WVCW Referee of the Year consecutively. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. There's Scotty Reigns with an R bar on the television champion in the center of the ring. Daniel Halen reverses it into a front face lock. What a move there by Daniel Halen. You know, I'm going to call this. I'm just going to act like you're not here. That's what I do with you pretty much every time. As we see Reigns there with a big now drop toe hold right there and back into the side headlock onto Daniel Halen. Referee signaling that there's no submission going on here. Oh, here we go, small package. Oh, Only Daniel get a two Halen count. They are almost getting a pinfall right there on Reigns. Reigns clapping. Enjoy watching what he's going on. Well, I will say one thing. It's nice that you're actually able to find a replacement for me and Mr. Mike McCabe in there in the stripes today. Well, of course. I had to find somebody. You just quit on me. No notice or anything. 
You should have been doing your job. How many times have I come to you and petitioned to you time and time again? Something needs to be done about the bunkhouse boys. Something needs to be done about Chet Cartwright. Something needs to be done about the militia. Yet nothing was ever done. I did everything I could. I fined them. I suspended them. I did everything I you could. You have not suspended one single individual, Eric Foster. Not one. And I've seen the fines you hand out. You know what? You could buy a Happy Meal with the fines that you hand out. One count there by referee Mike McCabe. These two definitely going at it. These two Matt Grapplers, fan favorites, and the WVCW television champion, Daniel Halen. This is a non-title match. Oh, big scoop slam there by Reigns. These two gentlemen in the ring right now are, are just showing exactly what West Virginia Championship Wrestling is all about. And it's the reason why I am still here. This is the best wrestling that this, hell, I'll go so far as to say the East Coast has to offer, ladies and gentlemen. As we see a big stalling suplex there by Reigns, takes Daniel down, this could be it, all the blood to his head, one, two, oh, what a two count there. What a, what a coup this would be if uh, Reigns could get a win over the WVCW television champion. Well, you gotta remember, Reigns, you know, Scotty Reigns, he is the number one contender for the West Virginia Championship. He's going to be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Scotty Blaze, the heat miser. So you know he's going to have to pull out all the stops and show everybody exactly what he's made of, and that's exactly what he's doing against the television champion here today. He will be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Scotty Blaze at Miracle on the Mountain. He won that Battle Royal a couple weeks ago. Miracle on the Mountain coming at you June 1st from Bluefield, West Virginia at the Bluefield Rec Center. We hope to see each and every one of you there, but until then, our next television taping, oh, close count there. Our next television taping is only 10 days away on May the 11th, right here at, at the Princeton Rec Center. Make sure you come out to that and then join us on June 1st in Bluefield for Miracle on the Mountain. And remember, the Princeton Rec Center, ladies and gentlemen, is your arena. It is the nation's arena. The nation's arena and big announcements coming for uh, Miracle on the Mountain very, very soon. So make sure you stay tuned to this program and to our Facebook page as well. Yeah, you know, I will say this, Eric Foster, for once you actually did say something right. We do have big things in store for Miracle on the Mountain. And from what I understand, they're going to outdo what they did last year. Oh, and it looks like this could be a big Boston Crab type move here. Oh, a Lion Tabor type move by Daniel Halen here, saying he does not want to give up. The crowd is cheering really loud. Scotty Reigns says no. Scotty Reigns is too far from the ropes. Will he be able to make it? Reigns trying to pull himself over. Daniel Halen put everything he can into it. Good work by our cameraman, turning the camera there just a little bit to get a shot. He makes the ropes. Scotty Reigns having that presence of mind to know exactly where he needs to go. Oh boy, look in the corner. Daniel Halen. Daniel Halen firing up. Here he comes. Oh, leapfrog over. Good Jack night, again. ladies and Nothing gentlemen. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, there's your winner, Scotty Reigns. Hey, what is this? Old School Elite. Old School Elite came out to try to get one up on Reigns, but Reigns just that quick. Fans, we'll be back right after this. That's gonna happen every week. Every time you're in the ring, if we don't get you, we get whoever's in the ring with you. So you're gonna run and leave these kids to us? Or are you gonna stand up and go? What are you gonna do? You know, it's really kind of funny. My two fat, overweight people that clearly need to be on Weight Watchers need to double up on somebody like this. Why don't you girls after you're getting done showering each other off, go to Krispy Kreme and then figure out how to lift some weights. And one more thing, Blaze. One more thing, Blaze. How does your jaw feel, brother? Future champ. Future champ. Future champ. Future.
And last, but certainly not least, weighing in at an even 100 pounds, from Lordstown, Ohio, Angel Bus! Once again, one fall, 30 minutes... Okay, you can see they make their ring introductions here. Here's the referee for the match. Uh, Amos Burke. And now she's making his way out of the ring. This is a ladies three-way match. Something different right here on IWWA All-Star Wrestling. This is Rock Parsons. The voice of the IWWA. And you know, all three of these girls, uh, even though there is some size difference, you can see that uh, Amy Hatred definitely has a size advantage over both the girls. Um, but Angel Dust... We've seen her before, and she's a pretty tough little character. Sassy Steffi's a new one here, but uh, I'm sure she knows what she's doing as well. Train, they're going to do a lock up here. Uh, looks like oh, I hate you saying she wants it on this too. Now there's something different, a three-way lock up. Never seen that before. Oh, she goes for clothesline, misses both of them. They give her a chop. Both of them give her a chop. They're going to send her off the ropes. She comes back. Oh. Drop kicks to the kneecaps. And that one hurts more than you think it does because it shoves the kneecap back into the meniscus area. There's a lock up. And here she comes again. All this time she misses with a big boot. Double chop, double chop. Send her off the ropes. Big hip toss. And these two are working together as any tag team. And both of them do a big they do a pounce on top of her, and now that's where, where the team's gonna end because Steffi knows that should Angel Dust have got the pinfall there, she would have won the match. Which means Steffi would have lost. Only one person can win, folks. It doesn't matter who you help on which side. Only one person can walk away as the winner. Sort of the same theory as about a royal, only this one is by pinfall. Or submission. And now she's trying to get uh, Hatred to get herself back together there and, and help double team on Angel Dust. And it looks like we're going to go for oh, not a body. No, it's going to be a suplex. Big suplex. Snapped her all. Oh, boy, she bounced off that mat hard. And Haley Hatred, once again, the teammates end the relationship. Which that's probably a mistake to begin with, because that's a good way to get caught with one when you're not looking. And hatred, uh... Boy, oh man, nice forearm. My goodness. Kick to the stomach, comes off the rush, big elbow. Now Angel Dust uh, needs to try to get back into this, because... This could be a pinfall coming up here. Nice double underhook suplex. I like the way she handles herself here. Just a two count, but she did not hook the leg. Did not hook the leg. Did a nice move and then didn't hook the leg. Nice European uppercut. And then she goes over and gives uh, Angel Dust a kick for good measure. Boy, Steffi landed wrong going out of that match. She hit off the back of her head going out. And uh, who knows what that might do to her. She may not get back in this. And I think Haley can smell 
the victory here. She picks up uh, Angel Dust. Looks like she's going to do a power slam. Oh no, just a powerful body slam. My goodness. Oh, nice leg drop. I don't know who trained her, but they've done a good job because she has got the technique and the ability and leverage all right. And if she'd have covered right there after that leg drop, she'd have won this match. And there's a side salto suplex. The cover. The kick out once again. Not covering the leg. And she's arguing with Burke, but uh, she's wasting her time because Burke can't help her hook the leg. She's got to do that herself. Big chop. I mean a big chop. Another one. Reverse knife edge. Picks her up now. It looks like is this a power slam, maybe? Oh, wait a minute. Well, oh, Angel Dust got some control. There's Steffi back in the match now. She got, got a hold of uh, Angel Dust's arm. Now she gets busted in the mouth for her trouble. And here comes Angel Dust. What's she going to do here? Oh, my goodness. She does a rolling DDT off the top rope. And my goodness gracious. Oh, just a two count. Steffi broke that up. She got back up there in time. Couple forearms to the side of the head. Sends Angel Dust, reverses it. Oh, like a diving elbow coming off that uh, rope into the chest area. And may have knocked the wind out of her enough to get a count. Nope, she kicks out. You gotta wonder what's rolling through uh, Haley Hatcher's mind right now. Oh, oh my goodness, she's gonna do. Uh, oh, yeah, double roll. Double roll. One with the head scissor, one with the leg scissors. And she makes the cover on Haley. Oh my goodness, what a powerful kick out. But she turns around and lands right on Steffi. My goodness, these girls are going at it. A lot of action here. Knee to the side of the head there. And now she's going to do a running... Oh yes, she does it. She does a rowing, running, reverse drop. And then, and, and, oh, there's a kick to the stomach. And then there's a... Man, there's a knee buster. That was a knee buckle. And she's going to get the three count. The winner of your match is Sassy Steffi, even though the ring announcer just announced it as uh, Angel Dust, but that's not correct. Ah, uh, she's going to correct it. Mr. Number One, George South, and in case you don't know, right. he has a new book out. You know something, Eric? This is the second greatest book that's ever been written. You know it, and I know it, and all these great fans here know it. You know, this book has been all over the world. It's only been out for about six months, and my dream is to get this book on everybody's coffee table all over the world, and we're about to do that, buddy. Well, as, soon, do that. as soon as we do that, then everybody needs to go check out your YouTube show. You know something? We're going all, we're going all over the world. You know, George South TV right there on highspots.com. It is probably the greatest TV show in the whole wide world, folks, the longest-running internet show that's ever been and folks we want everybody to tune in we just have a great time man make fun of a lot of people including ourselves and we talk about a great book yeah there you hear from mr number one george south get the book watch the show and enjoy him at your local wrestling event DDT right there. Could this be it? Goes for the cover. One, two, what, what? Wait, what, what, what's, what's Roger? Roger doing? Hand pulled the leg of Connor Long, which made referee Andrew Gibson think that he kicked out. And the crowd comes alive for Roger Ham. And you can see the consummate professional rip, just not letting it get to him, just staying right on his game. Now, if you can just learn to pin somebody. I think oh, this be could be right. it. Here he goes. He calls it the Hustle Buster. 
Good night. Glad you came, Connor. Goes for the cover. One, two, three. There we go. There's your winner. Rip Manson has won this match. But with no help whatsoever from Roger Ham, I, I think Roger was trying to make Rip Manson lose that match. Well, I seriously think Roger was not happy with Rip Manson. He doesn't look too happy right now. I wouldn't go so far to say he was wanting to make him lose the match, but more along Well, Roger Ham of, definitely does not look very happy right now. Fans joining me here in the crowd. I I just we were we seen you guys up here. What are you what are you guys doing this week? We got tickets. We heard Mad Dog was in town. We had to come watch the show. Somebody said there's a wrestling show here. We figured we'd show up and watch. Yeah, I mean we're sitting here with these great kids here, these great fans, the best in WVCW. We got the nerdy thirties hanging out behind us. I'ma tell you what, you know, we're just here to watch a good wrestling show. Have a good time. Maybe catch a bunkhouse or two. Well, speaking of the bunkhouse. You know, fans, we got to get up to the ring right now for our next match. Fans, here we go with our next match. We have the Bunkhouse Boys out here, but their representative, David House, going against Mr. Number One, George South. You like Sammy Kershaw? Look, it's a double wide trailer. And there's the queen. <laughs> As we see, referee Cody Green you here. You stole her worth of cycling, didn't you? Trying to get it, uh, control of this match, trying to get it started here. It's Mr. Number One, George South. Takes off his jacket and his bandana. Let me be the first here to say, make sure you pick up your copy of Dad, You Don't Work, You Wrestle on George South's webpage, or you can get it on hotspots.com. While you're on hotspots, make sure you check out George South TV as well. I've read the book. It's very insightful. One day he'll put a picture book out so people like you, you have know, something somehow, to look at. For some reason I heard Eric St. Clair's in the book somewhere. I don't know. I don't really care. Page 236 or something like that. You don't even know what page? I have no idea. 156. I don't know. 156. I think. Or 164. Whoa, whoa, look at this. David House of the Big Side headlock on the Mr. Number One, George South. Wait, hold on. You're almost here? Back on the phone? You're almost here? You do it all the time. Shut I do up, not. Leave me alone. Hey, there goes that clown again. Hold on. There is no clown. Exactly. David okay. House okay. here taking control of well, George South. This one and Dave House complaining what's Are going sure? on here. Dude. Are you sure? Um, okay. Next. Next, okay? I'll make sure. Stay George up. South here Stay trying up. to size up his man, special David House. Ready to come in. Say what? Your special guest commentator, so I can take a leave. It's what do you need to leave for? What's in your business? I never ask where you go, felon drug test and seeing boy bands and all that other junk. As we see here, big shoot off there by David House. David House goes for a clothesline. Oh, oh. no. Oh. No. And now George South just grabs him by his little goatee that he has there. What's George going to do? Got him by the chin chin chin. Yeah, that's for sure. And he's not one of the three little pigs, but he could be the big Blad Wolf. Oh. I don't want to see him huff and puff and blow the house down. Well, he, George South just about huff and puffed and blew the house down. David House, that is. Ha! Foster made a funny for one time in two years. Huh? Doctor House, even. Doctor House? The hell is a doctor in? He gave you the drug test. <laughs> Orthocycling. As we see, George South here, right back to the arm Whoa. of one David Whoa. House. There's that clown. Oh, there is no clown. Exactly. Are you still seeing things? I'm seeing that clown that hides from stupid people. Apparently, you never see him. Look, it's amazing. When Foster takes water, I don't talk. It's like a ventriloquist stick. <laughs> I don't want to pull your string, though. Hold on. I'll, let me finish this match. Then you'll come out, okay? Don't worry about it. What are you pointing at? As we see here, George South trying to uh, trying to get up one up here on David House. David House, I don't really think George South knows how to take David House here. David House, a newcomer, 
Hasn't well, been in the business a long time, but George South definitely. Uh, George knows houses. He's bought three of them. He might foreclose on this one. Bringing down the house. He's coming up with analogies, but you ain't saying nothing. Well, he's got him in a top house wrist party. lock here. There goes house party. Again. House party. That was a good movie. Of course. We got movies. Kid and play. Yeah. Nice. I don't know nothing about you playing with kids at all. That's just wrong. Let's commentate. Oh, big right hand there on the George South. Oh, another big right hand right there by David House. Oh, could this be a big bear hug right here by that's David House? That's not a form of infection right there. That's a, that's a maneuver of punishment. Crowd chanting, please don't tap. Yeah, definitely not wanting George South to give up here. They want to see George South you know, win. Earlier they were chanting something by the initials of R8. You know, let me tell you something about the initial of RH. He quit. He couldn't handle the job. He left the company. RH. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. He quit. He is no longer here. Another bear hug. Big bear hug there. Big squeeze right there by uh, David House, one half of the uh, Bunkhouse boys right here. And the one, Bunkhouse boys better look you out. Know but you math. Can, one half. One third. One, two, three, four. She Queen. doesn't count. But as we see here, you don't count. the Outlaws are still sitting in the crowd here watching this match. Kind of kind of wonder what's going on. It, it was that dyslexia going on again. When life hands me melons, what do I do? I don't know. Fred you know, it was, it was just last week that the Outlaws came out here and helped George South run off the Bunkhouse boys. Well, you know, the Bunkhouse boys are never alone. They all just travel in a herd. Well, that kind of happens sometimes, but it's utterly ridiculous. What? Oh, oh that's one way to get out of it. Oh, and he hit wow. past the man. Wow. He, he got the, the man house. over. He's he, like a real estate agent. He flipped the house. I've seen that show. Of course you have. Probably right after whatever is that victorious or whatever it no, is. Right after house hunters. Oh, good Lord. I met her. Wow. Is that where you got the estrogen and ortho cycling from? Uh, as you we see here, swine. George South once again in There's that bear that hug. Again. Trying to get out of it. Trying to get the crowd going. Trying to get the crowd clapping. Trying to get the crowd behind him here. Hope you're ready for this special guest. George South talking to himself. Trying to get him prepared for this. Trying to talk himself up here. Looks like he may be able to grab a side headlock here. What's going what on? Do do here? Oh, 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 it just punches the man right in the top of the uh, head. Punches him again. Another big, big bear hug guys. here. Another big bear hug here by David House. George South. Could this be it for George South? Could this be the end of George South? I mean, I don't know. Maybe could David House be? just secretly loved George South growing as a kid and could this be the final chapter in George South's book? Dad, you don't work, you wrestle. He may not be wrestling much after this if he can't get away from Dave House. Oh! Wow. Big double thrust there to wow. the chest. Could this be the claw? You see Eric St. Clair in the crowd. He's calling for it too. There, there it is. is. Eric St. Clair. The, the tap chant has started. Could this be it? I have a good feeling it will be. David House is going down. He's going down to the mat. His shoulders are down. Referee Cody Green, are you going to count? One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, there is your winner, George South. We'll be back right after this. Fans, the wait is almost over on May the 11th. Another huge television taping for West Virginia Championship Wrestling will happen live at the Princeton Rec Center in Princeton, West Virginia. Make sure you come early so you can get great seats for some great action, the best in professional wrestling in Southern West Virginia, West Virginia Championship Wrestling. Back. The 
there's a hurricane coming through. This next television taping, Saturday night, June the 15th, live at the Prison Rec Center, the best in Southern West Virginia professional wrestling, West Virginia Championship Wrestling will be live and in your lap. 